money, ho. Bitch, they ain't talking money, hang up on them. Gang, yeah, my bitch got my name on them. Name, let my nuts hang on them. Hang, niggas get. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. What's good, YouTube? Jealous Gaming here. Now today I'm about to bring y'all some gameplay of the NBA 2K18 Ruffles Challenge. Now honestly, bro, I like the Ruffle Challenge, bro. Like, yeah, I went on Twitter and I seen a lot of people complaining about the Ruffles Challenge. I feel like they should have never, you know, they should never gave the people who was losing games the opportunity to jump right to jump right back into games. Like they should have gave us like points to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like points to lose, but. Hey, me, bro, we hopped on this thing straight blowing people out, bro. Straight blowing people out. We only lost three games out of all the games that we played on here, bro. So, like, honestly, Ruffles Challenge was a W for me. W for me. But let's get right into this gameplay, bro. Let's get right into this gameplay, bro. Now, we had all the team chemistry that you needed, bro. Like, honestly, we could have been on the leaderboards, but we... But, like, we played this late. Like, I got on it late. I, I wasn't going to play it. But I was like, let me get on here and play it and see how it is. You know what I'm saying? So, like, honestly, we could have been on the leaderboards. The only YouTuber that, that was on the leaderboard was CJ So Cool, bro. And, like, a lot of YouTubers didn't like it because they said, like, they didn't like how people who was losing was getting the opportunity to jump back into it. You know what I'm saying? Because you see, a lot of people that was on the leaderboards wasn't even youtubers this time mountain dude y'all remember the number of youtubers on leaderboards like no youtubers on leaderboards nobody but cj so cool bro like they should change it change around like how losers get to play again because it's like a program thing like once you lose you can jump right back into a game like you can just press x and it's just gonna find players for you but they should change that around they should give us points but y'all can see i'm pulling up with the green light I'm pulling up with the green light, and my shot is Carmelo. If y'all want to use it, that's my shot. Hot zones matters in this game, bro. Hot zones matter. They matter, bro. If you don't have hot zones, you're going to brick everything, bro. And that one spot y'all seen me shoot at, that was all my hot. That was the only hot zone I have that from the three-point line. That's the only hot zone I have in that spot. But y'all see, I took it in with the easy two-pointer, bro. Y'all see, bro, five points on the board. The points matter in here, too. But you also got to, you know, give your teammates the opportunity to score, too. Don't be a ball hog, bro. Give your teammates the opportunity to score, too. So I see, hey, I'm pulling up. Pulling up and breaking, bro. In the corner, I don't have a hot zone, but from time to time, I'll hit right there. As y'all see, the score is 4-7. to seven. Now, for the people who didn't play this, let me tell y'all. When you get to 12, when you get to 12 points, you can hit a four-pointer from this blue line. You can hit a four-pointer and end the whole game. But y'all can see he's jumping. Don't jump, bro. Don't jump. Hold that defense. Don't jump, boy. He jumped, and he paid the consequence. Now, we got 10 points, bro. We got 10 points. If we hit another point like a two-pointer, we can easily end the game with a four-pointer. That's how it is, bro. That's how it is. Now... Y'all gonna see when we score. It's gonna pop up under our team, like under our scoreboard. It's gonna say four point to end the game. Like I kinda like that, bro. Like a lot of people was running with a sharpshooter on this, but like honestly, the sharpshooters are shoot stupid shots. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like once you hit 12, you gotta hit a four point to end the game. So you got people who forcing threes from the four point line. So like that gives you an opportunity to you know come back. It has been so many times we was down. But we held good defense and came back up. You know what I'm saying? But um, the score is nine to ten, bro. They not down that far, bro. They not down that far. It was kind of. It wasn't an intense game, but it was an intense game. Cause like honestly, dude want to come on here and be a dribble god. Like the dribbling is horrible on here. I don't know why people want to be a dribble god on here. It's horrible. Like you can easily steal the ball from somebody. But like I see, we got 12 points. See what popped up underneath our scoreboard? Four pointer to win. So if you get to 12, like the mission is not to let the other team get to 12 before you do. That's the mission. Don't let the other team get to 12 before you do. That's the mission. But we got 12 points, bro. It's a four point to end the game. So you have you have other people who come on here with sharpshooters. And when they get to 12, you got them forcing threes. Like, don't do that, bro. If you can't get the four pointer, take the easy two pointer. You know what I'm saying? Which I can see I pulled up with a crazy dumb shot. I regretted that. But hey, we got back on defense and they didn't get the score off of that mess up off that opportunity. Now as I can see, we holding that beautiful defense. Now 
the lineup was crazy in here. Now, y'all see they got to 13. So, either teams could hit a four-pointer to end the game. Either teams. But, um, the lineup was crazy on here. They they don't put the lineup right. You'll literally, they'll literally have people holding centers. They'll literally have me holding a center when I'm a 6-1 playmaking sharp. Like, the lineup is crazy on this game. But the first game we lost, we lost it to three centers, bro. And, like, honestly, it was, like, Zaire was getting messed up by the center, bro. The center was cooking them. <laughs> the center was cooking them. And one thing, the 90 overalls, they are overpowered in this game just because they are a 90. They are overpowered. They, they overpower, bro. They make anything, bro. They make anything. But you got some people, some 90s with some cruised records, and you got some, like, they just overpowered. But I can see, look at the switch defense. That's one thing you have to have on here. They're going to set a lot of screens because they want the four-pointers. All you're going to have to have is some good on-switch defense. You have, you have to pick up on screens good. That's all you're going to need is to pick up on screens good. As I can see, we got the ball. I don't know what happened right there, but, hey, I got the ball back. I passed it to Zaire. We're looking for that four-pointer to end the game. He passed it to me, you know, you know, I'm trying to get my stuff back. I pull up. Easy way to end the game, bro. So basically it's like don't let the other team get to 12 before you do. You get to 12 first, stop everything that they do, and then hit another four-pointer and you'll win the game. Make sure y'all drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if y'all are new.